Hello, guys. Good evening. Hello. Hello, guys. How are you? ¿Cómo están? Bien. Okay, I'm glad. Okay, just let me do something. Hello, guys. Good evening. Okay, I think most of you are joining right now. Welcome one more time. I just want to mention something, guys, before we start. Solo quiero decirles algo antes de empezar. Que voy a estar apagando mi cámara por lapsos de tiempo debido a que me encuentro todo bueno como les comenté ayer estaba mal de salud pues sigo así um, hice lo posible porque por cancelar la clase ya que no me sentía bueno no me siento para nada bien pero no tuve respuesta alguna así que um, vamos a hacer lo posible voy a estar con cámara apagada por la mayoría de tiempo I hope it is not a problem for you. Y como les digo, um, voy a hablar bajito, ya que sigo mal de la garganta. Pero vamos a hacer lo posible por eh, terminar esta clase. Así que, welcome guys. Espero estén muy bien. And we are going to start with the class for today. Tenemos por acá. There we have an activity. We have a memory game. And it is regarding the time. Well, I've been, eh, estuve revisando en el grupo y puedo ver que, bueno, son muy poquitos los que me enviaron. Bueno, de hecho, nadie me lo envió. Solamente eh, una persona pudo enviarme lo de la, la práctica. I hope it is not a problem for you to send, it, to send the practice to the group. Y pues esperaría que la puedan ver. Y en este caso, vamos a tratar de estar activos entonces. So, let me share my screen so we can start with the activity. Okay. Just allow me one second, guys. There we are. ¿Pueden ver esa pantalla? ¿Pueden ver mi pantalla, chicos? Yes. Sí. Very good. So here we have um we have um an activity that it is recording the time. Eh, tenemos esta actividad relacionada con la hora, verdad? Entonces, lo que va a suceder es que vamos vamos a poder ver eh, por ahí vamos a encontrar la hora así como lo leímos el día de ayer que primero teníamos hora y luego los minutos. Y luego vamos a encontrar el relojito con el que practicamos. Entonces vamos a empezar. En este caso siempre voy a requerir de su participación. I hope it's not a problem for you. And we are going to start now. Just let me do something. Okay. We are going to start now. As you can see. Pueden verlo ahora. Y ahora sí es tiempo de elegir. Who wants to help me? Who wants to choose the first? Anyone? Okay. One. Okay, let me see. Seven and one, and then we go with Alexander, okay? Seven, one. Okay, no, yeah, thank you. Now let me see Alexander. Can you give me two numbers? Uh, number five and two. Five and two. Okay, no. <laughs> we still have to have a match. Thank you, Alexander. Someone else? Alguien más? Yes, two and three. 
two and three. Let me see. Very good. There we have the first one. Now we have it three o'clock. Now, what else? Thank you so much. Anyone? Number seven and eight. Number seven and eight. No, very good. We need to try one more time. Vamos a ver uno más. Okay, Moises, yes, tell me. Okay, number five and number 11. Number five and number 11. No, we still need to find out. We need to still find out. Let me see. Thank you, Moises. Someone else? Two numbers. Seven and five. Seven and five. Okay, very, very good. It's 20 past 12. It's 20 past 12. Very good. Thank you so much. Someone else? Two numbers? Eight and ten. Eight and ten. Let me see. Okay, very, very good. I think it is not. No entiendo por qué está ahí, ¿verdad? We have an incorrect one. Es este, no sé, eh, tenemos esta parte incorrecta. Y aquí dice, it's 11.45. It should be here, right? It should be here. Yeah, bro. So no problem. We are going to continue. Así que vamos a continuar. Someone else, just to finish it. Anything? Number four and 11. Number four and 11. Uh, yeah, no, we need to try one more time. Thank you. What else, guys? There are only a few missing. So no nos faltan alguna. What do you think? Nine and one. Nine and one. No, we still need to find out. Tal vez un poco difícil, ya que podemos ver ahí. Good evening, Irma. Okay, very good. Come on, guys. I know you can do it. Eleven and one. Eleven and one. No. I hope you can memorize. Espero que puedan memorizar certain uh, sentences. What else? 11 and 9. 11 and 9. No. <laughs> I know it may be tricky, but we need to still keep trying, okay? Just try to remember the one that we flip and try to match with another one. What do you think? 11 and 4. 11 and 4. Okay. No. <laughs> it, it seems they are very close to the, the one uh, to match. 1 and 4. 1 and 4. Okay. No. Uh, okay. There we have. It's 320. I think they're both uh, incorrect. I don't know what happened with this. No estoy segura que sucedió con esta actividad. But as you can see, it's 20. It's 320. It should be here and here, right? So I don't know what happened. <laughs> okay. Let's try one more time. We only have two left. 12 and night. 12. And nine. Very good. It's a half past ten. And there we have the last one. It's ten to six. Very good, guys. Tal vez están algunas incorrectas por ahí because as I hope you, you are an observer person 
uh, as you can see her we have been correct but I don't know who did it. <laughs> Así que lo importante es que ustedes saben diferenciarlo, ¿verdad? Okay, so what are we going to do? We are going to keep on with the class and I'm going to show you something regarding to the topic for tonight's class. Let me share my screen one more time. There we are. We are already done with the activity. And now we have this topic. This topic is called present continuous with WH questions. This section number five, what are you doing? So let's see. We have one more time, uh, the present continuous with WH questions. There we are with the definition. The present continuous verb tense indicates that an action or condition is happening right now frequently and may continue into the future. I hope you remember this one because nosotros ya lo revisamos. We already started it, this topic. So here we have using WH questions. WH word plus the verb to be plus the subject and plus the complement. Remember, this is regarding questions. Questions, WH questions. So, para hacer preguntas utilizando el presente continuo. Esto es una vez más porque así lo indica en el material de apoyo que tenemos, ¿verdad? So here we have the WH word where the verb to be, are, the subject, one more time, you, the complement, going. So the subject, as I mentioned before, it could be a pronoun, it could be a, a noun, it could be a proper name, it could be a place, it could be a thing. Okay, so now we have the WH word as the first element, then we have the verb to be, and then we have the subject, and at, at last we have the complement. And don't forget about the question mark, that is really important regarding making questions. Es muy importante siempre tener en cuenta los elementos de cada estructura para poder realizar oraciones, ¿verdad? So here we have, now that we already know about the time, we already know about the present continue, we are going to start with this activity. So it says, we have the present continuous WH question and we have different people there doing different activities. Tenemos diferentes personas haciendo diferentes actividades, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo importante acá, here we have the, the cities, we have the cities, and then we have the, the time, telling us the time, and then telling us what every single people, single person is doing. As an example, here we have the first one, Los Angeles, it's 4 a.m., it's 4 a.m., What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Very good. Now, what are we going to do? I will need you to help me. I will need your help uh, here to read each of them. I will need your help and your participation. But what are we going to do? We are going to say both of the time. Vamos a decir ambos, ¿verdad? As an example, Los Angeles, it's four o'clock in the morning or 4 a.m. That, that's the way we are going to repeat it. And then we are going to read it. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Okay, who wants to help me? Who wants to help me with the second one? ¿Quién quiere ayudarme con la segunda? Mm -hmm. Lo vamos a decir de esta forma. Los Angeles, it's four o'clock in the morning or it's 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Okay, someone? Esto solamente es de leer. Okay, Elvira, go ahead. Help me with number two. Mexico City, it's 6 a.m. What's Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m. So he's going up. 
Very good. Thank you so much. Tell me what's the another what's another way to tell the time? ¿Qué es, ¿Cuál es la otra forma para decir esta la hora que vemos por acá? Six o'clock. Six o'clock in the morning, right? Six o'clock in the morning. Recuerden, bueno, con lo de ayer les expliqué que cuando no decimos que podemos utilizar el o'clock, o sea, en punto, pero tenemos que decir in the morning, in the morning. Cuando utilizamos a.m. or p.m., we are going to say only the hour, 6 a.m. Entonces, sería la otra forma, 6 o'clock in the morning. Very good. Thank you so much. Now, let's move to number three. Yes, Alexander, help me. New York City, it's seven o'clock in the morning. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. Excellent, very, very good. Now, what's the what's another way to tell this time? ¿Cuál es la otra forma para decir esta la hora? It's seven a.m. Very good. It's seven a.m. Excellent. So now we have. Number four, who wants to help me with number four? Okay, yes, Moises, tell me. Okay, okay. Brasilia, it's 9, 9 a.m. What Cecia doing? She's going to work. Okay, very good. What is another way to tell this time? Do you know, Moises? It's nine uh, in the morning. Okay, very good. It's nine o'clock in the morning. Very good. Okay, let's move to number, let me see number five and I saw there Jose, can you help me? Okay, London. It's um it's a noon. Okay. It's, uh, what are James and, and doing? It's noon, so they are having lunch. Okay, very, very good. Now we have what is another I, I thought I think you mentioned the two ways, right? As I mentioned, it's London in London, twelve o'clock in the noon or 12 a.m., right? Sorry, 12 p.m., porque es de la tarde, ¿verdad? London, 12, 12 p.m., it's 12 p.m., or we can say it's 12 o'clock in the noon. What are James and Anne doing? It's noon, so they are having lunch. Very good. Yes, Jennifer, can you help me with number six? Hello, Jennifer. Okay, I think she's not there. Who wants to help me, number six? Hello. Um, number six is Moscow. Um, what's something that Andrew doing? He's working. Okay. And very good. Okay, Jennifer, no te preocupes. It seems we're still having problems. Se parece que todavía tenemos problemas con el micrófono. Don't worry. We are going to keep participating más adelante. Okay, now we have Moscow. Moscow, I know it's Moscú. Moscú es en español, right? And when we say Moscow, it's in English. Moscow. Now we have it's three o'clock in the afternoon or it's 3 p.m. And now we have here, what's Andre doing? He's working, he's working. Very good, thank you so much. Who wants to help me with number seven? Anyone? 
Let me see. I want to choose. Voy a elegir. What about Monica? Can you help me with number seven? Yes, is Bangkok. What's further? What? And let me see. What? Um, Permsak doing? He's eating dinner right now. Very good. What about the time? Uh, it's uh, 7 p.m. or can be it 7 o'clock. Very good. In the, in the evening, right? In the evening. O'clock in okay. the evening or 7 p.m. Very, very good. Thank you so much, Monica. So there we have Bangkok. We have 7 p.m. or 7 o'clock in the evening. And here we have, what's Premsak doing? He's eating dinner right now. Eating dinner right now. Very good. Now, who wants to help me with this one? With Hiroshi. Any volunteer? Um, is it, um, Tokyo? Okay. It, it, it's 9 p.m. What Hiroshi don is what television. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now we have Tokyo. It's 9 p.m. or it's 9 o'clock at night. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. Recuerden, tenemos acá las WH questions utilizando el presente continuo, ¿verdad? Y en la misma estamos viendo cities. That's a topic we already studied. And now we are studying also the time. Very good. So here we have the last one. But in this case, we are going to practice. En este caso, nosotros vamos a hacer los que creemos una oración como esa. Por ejemplo, here we have. We are going to mention the city. We are going to mention the city where we live. La ciudad donde vivimos. O el lugar donde usted vive, okay? Then we are going to tell the time. Vamos a decir la hora que es. And then we are going to say, what are you doing? I'm going to start. Voy a, voy a empezar yo. As an example, uh, you can say, bueno, les dije que puede ser el lugar donde usted vive. It's no problem. The, the thing is just to keep practicing, okay? As an example, Santa Tecla, it's 8.23 p.m. And I am teaching English classes. What about you guys? Let me see. Vamos a empezar en el orden que los tengo acá en el listado. Oops, sorry, sorry. Let me see. I have the first person there and it is Moises. Can you help me? Can you tell me just like this? Podrías eh, decirlo así como lo dije, just like the city or the place where you're living and then the time and then what are you doing? Okay, it's San Salvador City. It's a past 24 muy bien. Okay. And um, what are you doing? Um, la, 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 recibiendo la clase. Okay. You can say, I'm taking my English class. I'm taking my English class. Very good. Very, very good. There we are. Acuérdense que cuando digamos la hora... Es importante especificar si es de día o si es de noche, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, si yo les digo, it's 8.20 with 24. It's 8.24 p.m. 8.24 p.m., right? Si usted no quiere decir así, you can say, it's 25 past 8 in the night, at night, or at evening, right? Ok, thank you so much, Moises. Let's move. I have the next person there and it is Jose. Jose, are you ready? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. okay. 
Um, okay, Texas. It's um, 24 uh, past to 10 uh, in the evening. Um, I am, uh, okay, what are I doing? Yes. I, um, learning the, the English class. Very good. There we have the city, then we have the time, and what are you doing? So you, you can say, I am learning English class, my English class. Very good. Thank you, Jose. Let's move with Monica. Monica, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, um, go it, it is um, um, San Salvador City. Mm -hmm. Also, um, uh, it's, it's 9.26 at um, uh, night. Yes. And also in this moment, I am I am learning English class. Okay, very good. Thank you. There we have. You can say um, cuando eh, cuando ustedes se trate verdad de tomar como una clase o de recibir una clase, the verb you can use is take. Take, por ejemplo, okay. puede decir voy a a recibir mi clase de inglés. That's, that's an example. You can say, I am going to take my English class. But if you want to say, pero si ustedes quieren decir, estoy aprendiendo, ¿verdad? You can say, I am learning English. Just like that. I am learning English in my class, in mi clase, ¿verdad? Very good. So thank you, Monica. Let me move with... Oh, se me movió por acá. The next one is Alexander. Are you ready? Yes. Um, eh, la libertad is 8 p.m. or it's 8 o'clock in the evening. And I am practicing my English class with my partners. Very, very good. Excellent, Alexander. That was a very good example. Thank you so much. The next one is Jennifer. Jennifer, en este caso, como su micrófono no está funcionando, you can type it on the chat. Lo puede escribir en el chat. So, no problem. You will still be participating. Así que lo no puedes... funciona, teacher. Ah, okay, very good. Perfect. Entonces, go ahead. Tell me. Um, um, San Salvador. Uh, it's... 8.28 p.m. And I, um, I watching a soap opera. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Now the next one is, let me see. Okay, the next one is Nancy. Nancy, are you there? Yes. Eh, en, disculpe que no comprendí muy bien. Voy a hacer lo de la imagen cualquiera y lo, lo voy a leer ubicándolo como, como para El Salvador. Yes, por ejemplo, usted, uh, si se fija en este ejemplo, dice New York City. En este caso usted va a decir el lugar donde vive. Yo, por ejemplo, dije Santa Tecla, son la hora que es por, por ahora, ¿verdad? It's... A half past eight, o puede decir it's eight uh, thirty p.m. O sea, la hora que es, y luego va a decir lo que usted está haciendo, ¿verdad? That's it. Ok. Ok. San Salvador, Tonacatepeque, seven p.m. o'clock. Mm -hmm. uh, I am, I am learning English. Very good. When we are going to say, for example, o'clock, lo vamos a decir antes, ¿verdad? De, del, del a.m. or p.m. We can say it's seven o'clock in the evening, or we can say it's seven p.m. Así, ¿verdad? 
7 p.m. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Now let's move with Diana. Are you ready? Yes. Uh, Sakamil is half past eight and I'm um, having dine dinner. Very good. Very good. It's a half past eight p.m. and you're having dinner. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Now let's move with Marjorie. Hello, Marjorie. Okay. Sapphire is a two or two. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, I am English class in drink water croquettes. Okay. Water croquettes. Yes, I'm drinking water, right? Very uh, good. Drinking. Drink. Yes, I can hear that. <laughs> okay, let's move with um, Jacqueline. Hello, Jacqueline. Hi. Are you ready? Hello, okay. Natalia. It's 8.31. Okay. And hello, good night. What are you doing? Okay. It's a class in English. Okay, very good. We can say, remember, cada vez que usted diga, okay, chicos, recordemos, cada vez que digamos la hora, we need to specify if it is at day or at night. En ese caso, vamos a decir, si a ustedes se les dificulta mucho decir, um, in the evening, in the afternoon, in the noon. Nada más utilicemos entonces el a.m. or p.m. That will be easier for you. Le será más fácil, ¿verdad? Utilizar el a.m. y el p.m. En este caso podemos decir it's 4 p.m., it's 8 p.m. y así. Así se nos va a ser más fácil. So thank you so much. And we are going to move with Nathalie. Nathalie? Hi. Hi, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Um, I am from Lourdes. Uh, it's 80, 33 p.m. And I am doing the meal for my baby. Oh, very, very good. 8.33 p.m. Excellent. You're doing the milk. You're preparing the milk for your baby. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Natalie. Now we have Daisy Jamilet. Hello, Daisy. Hi. Are you um, I, I am Ilo Vasco. Mm -hmm. It's a 14 p.m. What are you doing? I learning English. Okay, good. Now we have it as an example. It's 8.34 at night or 8.34 p.m. Right, very good. And you can say, I am learning English. Please, guys, uh, no nos olvidemos del verbo to be, okay? El verbo to be es ese, pues, es esa palabra, am, is, or are. Sí, siempre, siempre que nosotros vayamos a expresar algo así o cualquiera de los tiempos, siempre necesitamos el verbo to be. So please don't forget about that and thank you so much for your participation. Muchas gracias por su participación. Very good. You did it great. Parece que todavía nos complicamos un poquito con la, con la hora, pero lo vamos a mejorar. Don't worry. Now we have here this topic and it is regarding pronunciation. Tenemos el tema que se trata de um, la pronunciación, ¿verdad? And this is regarding intonation. Do you know what is intonation? Entonación. Bueno, la entonación es eso, ¿verdad? Entonar nuestra voz, ya sea en altos y bajos. Entonces, now that we have here... We have two types of questions. Tenemos los dos tipos de preguntas. We have a yes, no question, 
Okay, as you can see here, notice the intonation of the yes, no, and WH question. Esas dos preguntas tienen una diferencia de intonation, de entonación. ¿Por qué? We have two. We have rising and we have falling intonation. The first one, the yes, no questions. Estas son yes, no questions. Miren, ¿por qué? Because it is starting with the verb be. Porque ellas empiezan con el verbo be. El verbo to be, pues. Entonces, dice que las rising son las yes, no questions. Por ende, al final de la pregunta, at the end of the question, you are going to raise your voice. Dice que se levanta o se levanta la entonación de la voz cuando terminamos de pronunciarla. You may be wondering what does it mean. Okay, and here we have, is she getting up? Is she getting up? As you can see, como pueden notar, hay como una, eh, la voz se eleva al final de la pregunta. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? Es como eso, ¿verdad? ¿Se acuerdan que yo les dije que every time you make a question, every time you, you want to make a question, cada vez que tengamos una pregunta, it's important the intonation, la, la, la entonación es muy importante. Es ese, ¿m? at the end. Por ejemplo, es, si yo lo digo sin, sin esa entonación de pregunta, sonará así. Is she getting up? Is she getting up? Entonces no, no suena como una pregunta, right? Entonces es importante hacer la entonación. Entonces, is she getting up? Is she getting up? Right there, acá, justo acá, tenemos que un rising. Rising significa elevar, elevarse. Rising. Un rising. And then we have the falling intonation. And this is for the WH question. Esto es para las preguntas WH, right? ¿Qué quiere decir? Que mientras en las just no questions, we have a rising intonation. In the WH question, we have a falling intonation. Significa que acá baja la entonación. Por ejemplo, is she getting up? What's she doing? What's she doing? Si se fijan, la entonación baja. It is a falling intonation. Entonces, como les mencioné, cada vez que hacemos preguntas, es muy, muy importante eso de la entonación. Porque usualmente, incluso, bueno, in this case, when you're learning English, cuando, usted, cuando la, estamos empezando a aprender inglés, eh, lo hacemos todo muy, muy pausado, right? Por ejemplo, podemos leerlo, what's she doing? Entonces, eso luego cambia. When you, uh, when you uh, keep the intonation, cuando ustedes eh, utilizan la entonación correcta, se escucha diferente, right? Ya no se escucha muy plano, se escucha como una pregunta. Entonces, no es lo mismo decir, is she getting up? No es lo mismo, ¿verdad? Necesitamos hacer esa entonación. Is she getting up? Ese mm, a ti en, eso es lo que nos refleja una entonación para una pregunta. So, here we have the difference. Si pueden escuchar la diferencia en, is she getting up? Or, what's she doing? Si se fijan, acá sube y acá baja. Are they sleeping? What are they doing? Acá baja la entonación. Pero siempre llevan entonación, ¿verdad? Porque son preguntas. Hasta aquí, guys. Do you have any question? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta? No question. No. Very good. Esto es importante porque esto les va a aparecer también en la plataforma and will be appearing in your, les va a aparecer, ok, les va a aparecer um, en el meet, en el final exam, porque recuerden que para esta semana tenemos el examen final, por lo que va a aparecer de todo lo que hemos estudiado. Entonces, hay una sección que viene de rising and falling intonation. So, it's very important for you to learn it. Así que, let me see any volunteer. Vamos a ver quién puede ayudarme para escuchar si usted hace la entonación, ¿verdad? Algún voluntario que me ayude con una de esas. Por ejemplo, 
I will need three volunteers. Va a necesitar tres voluntarios. Okay, Alexander, what are we going to do? And then we have Jennifer. Primero vamos a leer. And then we have Moises. Very good. Tenemos esto. Primero vamos a leer la primera y luego la segunda aplicándole el rising, el falling intonation. Okay, very good. So, Alexander, can you help me? Okay. Um, is she getting up? Mm -hmm. What's she doing? Okay, there something happened. Eh, ahí sucede algo, ¿verdad? Sucedió, something happened. Thank you so much, Alexander. Les voy a explicar algo que esperaba yo que sucediera, ¿verdad? A veces le aplicamos la misma intonation a las falling. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, is she getting up? What's she doing? Eh, suena como que tenemos la misma entonación, ¿verdad? Como que sube para ambas. En el caso de las WH, vamos a hacerlo como un poco más así, miren. What's she doing? Doing. Entonces va a bajar. Porque si yo digo, what's she doing? Ahí está subiendo, ¿verdad? Entonces la vamos a elevar en, is she getting up? What's she doing? What's she doing? Si se fijan, suena, acá suena un poco más alto porque estamos uniendo, ¿verdad? Is she? Is she getting up? Y acá, what she doing? What she doing? Suena hacia abajo, ¿verdad? Very good. Thank you so much, Alexander. So let's move with Jennifer. Can you help me? Um, are they sleeping? What are they doing? Okay, good. En este caso, sucede lo mismo. Yo estoy, I am paying attention fully to what are you saying. ¿Qué quiere decir? Le seguimos aplicando la, la, falling, la rising intonation a ambas. Solo para, les voy a explicar así, para una manera más sencilla, ¿verdad? Aquí es, are they sleeping? What are they doing? Así va, vamos a bajarla en, cuando dicen falling. No quiere decir que vamos a bajar la voz, ¿verdad? Sino que si ustedes escuchan a ustedes mismos, hacemos correctamente la primera que es rising. We do it, you're doing it great. Are they sleeping? What are they doing? Sounds like, mm. Esta es como, mm. And this is like, mm. Así. No sé si me entienden, pero es la forma más fácil que yo les puedo decir. Entonces tenemos, are they sleeping? What are they doing? Así, ¿verdad? Very good. Now we have the next one. We have Moises. Can you help me? Okay. Mm. What? Wait. Okay. Is, is, is she getting up? Mm -hmm. And what's she doing? Very good. Exactly. That's what I mean. Eso es lo que vamos a ver. Is she getting up? What's she doing? Okay. Very good. Excellent. Thank you so much. So, ahí lo tenemos. Esto es rising and falling intonation. Y esto sucede en esos dos tipos de preguntas, ¿verdad? En yes, no questions and WH questions. Acuérdense que las yes, no questions son rising, o sea, que se eleva al final. Y las WH questions son falling, o sea, que baja al final, ¿verdad? Very good. Thank you so much, guys. Y acá tenemos una vez más. Yes, no questions. Rising intonation. Are you playing video games? And last WH question is falling intonation. Where's your father? ¿Saben por qué? Porque cuando tenemos en las yes, no questions, tenemos el verbo be, el verbo have, el verbo do, y el, los modal verbs. Entonces, ¿qué sucede? Are you, esta, esta de acá suena muy bajita al inicio. Are you playing video games? Y where's your father? ¿Por qué son diferentes? Porque esta, la que es rising intonation, al inicio suena un poco más bajita. Are you playing video games? Al contrario de esta, que al inicio suena un poco más, más fuerte, ¿verdad? Más alta. Where's your father? Where's your father? Así. Como les dije, es, like a, es como el sonido, ¿verdad? That you make. Are you playing video games? Where's your father? Así, ¿verdad? Very good. Now we are going to continue. 
Vamos a ver si nos queda tiempo para hacer este knowledge check. And if we don't do this, okay, no, you know what, we are going to do it. Lo vamos a hacer porque me interesa mucho que ustedes practiquen este tema, ¿verdad? Lo vamos a hacer, just let me share my screen. Solo les comparto la pantalla, ¿verdad? Just allow me one second. And I'm going to look for it. En este caso, como les digo siempre que ustedes pueden... Eh, Pueden encontrar todo esto en la plataforma. De hecho, esta Knowledge Check, tal vez algunos de ustedes ya lo hicieron, pero uh, tal vez el resto todavía no, que, me, que es lo que me imagino, ¿verdad? Pero, eh, don't worry, vamos a revisarlo porque vamos a practicar, vamos a escuchar. Just allow me one moment porque está un poquito lento acá. Ok, there we have. There we have. Vamos a ver. Les voy a compartir la pantalla and tell me if you can see it. Me dicen si la pueden ver, ¿ok? Do you see my screen? Yes, bueno. teacher. Ok, good. Ok, what are we going to do? Vamos a escuchar el audio. Y vamos a seleccionar la entonación correcta, ¿ok? So, I'm going to play the audio. Lo voy a poner así de corrido y luego vamos a responder, ¿ok? En este caso, porque si yo lo pauso, suele que se, se pone muy, muy lento. Así que vamos a hacerlo de esa forma, ¿ok? Just let me... Vamos a abrir acá. One, are you wearing a coat? Two, what are you doing now? Three, what time is it? Four, is it midnight? Five, what color is his t-shirt? Six, are you from Thailand? Very good, guys. Ahora bien, vamos a responder qué tipo de intonation tiene cada una de estas. What do you think about the first one? Are you wearing a coat? Which one? Falling or rising? Rising. Rising. Rising, rising right. Very good. Now let's move to number two. What are you doing now? What are you doing? Rising or falling? Falling. Falling. Falling intonation. Good. Very good. What time is it? Which one? Falling. 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 Very good. Is it midnight? Falling. Rising. Rising. Which one? Rising. Okay. Good. Rising. What color is his t-shirt? Falling. Falling, good. Are you from Thailand? Rising. Rising. Very good. Esto estuvo muy fácil, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué? Porque ahora ya las podemos identificar. Las podemos identificar. Las yes, no questions son rising y las WH questions son falling. Pero it is not only about to identify. No es solo se trata de identificar, ¿verdad? Sino que de practicarlo o de realizarlo nosotros mismos. So what do we have here? Ahora bien, tenemos, voy a reproducir otra vez el audio and I hope you pay attention. Esperaría que, que, que puedan prestar atención y vamos a escuchar de cómo es que sube o cómo baja la intonation. So, let's me. One, are you wearing a coat? Two, what are you doing now? Three. What time is it? Four. Is it midnight? Five. What color is his t-shirt? Six. 
Are you from Thailand? Ok, good. Si se fijan, es más que todo eso, es ese. Cuando pronunciamos una just no question es Are you from Thailand? Es mm. Y el otro es con mm. Like this. What time is it? What time is it? Porque, como les dije, esta tiene más fuerza al inicio, por ende debe ser falling. Y esta tiene más fuerza, tiene menos fuerza al inicio, por ende debe ser rising. What time is it? Is it midnight? Así, ¿verdad? Very good. So what are we going to do? Now let me go back. Let me go back to the slide shirt. Very good. There we are. Y acá tenemos. So what are we going to do? Vamos a, uh, we are going to create WH question using the present continuous tense. Pero ¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a utilizar esta, las del knowledge check, las que ustedes vieron por ahí. Pero esa es una opción, ¿verdad? La cosa es que quiero escucharles. Quiero escucharles pronunciar eh, esos tipos de preguntas. Por ejemplo, va a colocar, va a crear dos preguntas. Una yes, no question y una WH question. Y las, se va a grabar leyéndolas. Eso, nada más que le va a aplicar pues la entonación correcta a cada una de ellas. Una de rising y una de falling. That's what I want to hear. Es muy cortito, la verdad. Si gusta, no, no necesariamente lo tiene que escribir. Nada más, pues, lo escribe por ahí en algún cuaderno o en notas o en un mensaje. Y luego solo lo lee, ¿verdad? Solo lo lee así y se graba en una notita de voz. That's what I want to hear from you. Guys. Y esperaría que termináramos la práctica de el, la hora, ¿verdad? Because I can see that you're still having problem. Puedo escuchar que todavía tenemos un poquito de complicación con, con la hora. Es importante siempre practicar. Por eso esa, esa imagen que les mandé de los relojitos, eso es lo que vamos a colocar. Así como creo que solamente una persona lo envió, ya lo voy a revisar. El punto es que necesitan seguir practicando esa parte, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué? Because we are keep moving. Vamos a ver, seguir viendo otros temas. Por ejemplo, mañana tenemos otros temas y el jueves tenemos como un recap. ¿Qué quiere decir un recap? Que yo voy a evaluarles qué tanto ustedes han, qué tanto ustedes eh, avanzaron, ¿verdad? Porque vamos a ver todos los temas del módulo y en este caso vamos a ver si ustedes todavía tienen problemas o, todavía, o ustedes ya lo dominaron. So that's it. So, do you have any question, guys? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Anything? ¿Alguna duda? Hello? Ok, parece que no tenemos ninguna duda en cuanto a eso. Y nada más, pues, así quedamos. Espero que me hayan entendido. Lo de la práctica, o sea, it's clear. Ok, thank you, Alexander. Espero que me hayan entendido lo de la práctica. Yo voy a estar pendiente de revisarles y pues espero ustedes puedan enviarlo, ¿verdad? And please don't forget to complete the platform. No se olviden de completar lo de la plataforma para que así lo único que le quede sea el examen final y no se le acumule, ¿ok? Y si puedan avanzar en eso también, no problem, you can do it, guys. Así que eso sería todo por la clase de hoy. Si no tienen más preguntas, ¿verdad? Y pues decirles que thank you so much for your attention and your participation. Fue un poquito apagadita este día, pero como les comenté, me encuentro mal de salud, pero hicimos lo posible. Así que thank you so much, guys. Espero que descansen and have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye. Good night. Thanks. Goodbye. Bye bye. Have a good night. Take care, guys.